Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston on this bright, sunny, beautiful day. And yes, that's my vehicle back there. Um, trying to get a tune-up, just making sure everything is all good and safe and clean with it. Um, I love my vehicle. I love my Jeep. I can't wait until I can get that new blue one that I've been dreaming about. It's on my vision board. And... Um, yeah, so I truly hope you're having a blessed time wherever you are in the world. Finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, and appreciate it, to show love and appreciation for everything and everyone around you. Um, so, yeah, today I'm in a bit of a better mood. I know I vented in the last two videos. You know, I stood up with um, my... YouTube and Muslim brothers, um, Yusuf and Adam and Kareem, you know, even with Slim and um, Shake, you know, there are a couple of reasons why I even started watching YouTube, you know, I, I said that in one of a vlog a while back where I mentioned, you know, that, you know, the reason why I got inspired by YouTube and, um, hi. And stuff. So, but, um, so yeah, I got, lost my train of thought for a second. So, but, yeah, you know, there are reasons why I got inspired to do YouTube in the first place. You know, then I started watching Alex Wasabi and the infamous Superwoman. I started watching, just recently started watching her. Um, and I love what they all do, you know. It's not, you know, it's, it's not just to entertain but, you know, on occasion, they do put out messages. They do do social experiments to try to get you to think and, you know, get people to, you know, inspire people to make positive change in the world. And that's what I try to do with the, my videos. Although I don't do challenges, I don't do pranks, I don't do social experiments. I'm not as, you know, bubbly and energetic as Supermoon. I really wish I had that kind of, you know, you know quickness about me obviously I'm not necessarily quick-witted because I'm constantly looking for the words to say to express what I'm trying to say yes and yeah so my car is gonna get um, a tune-up get checked out I'm gonna go do my radio show tonight I start my new job start training um, I felt really bad I had to go to my boss at the current job and let him know that uh that I am um, I gotta give my notice and you know it's bittersweet I've been there 10 years but the instability of the place I had to move on and the other reason why it's bittersweet is I'm excited to be making more money excited to be doing you know something a little different I mean it's still security but it's a different company different people and stuff but you know I'll be back on the overnights you know I'll be back to working five days a week five nights a week you know I'm gonna have to re, re rearrange you know like working out and sleep and whatever and you know that's gonna be a little of a challenge I'm up to it, but in my mentality, I'm going, you know what, at least for the next year, I'm just going to bust my butt, save money, get the house that I want, get the car that I want, you know, and since I'm doing YouTube, I just monetized my page last night, um, I don't necessarily expect to make much off of YouTube, but if I can make a few dollars, great, and then, you know, I got Zoo Cool, you know, I got all this... You know, I'm trying to become financially free, get that time freedom as well, you know, because I'd rather be home with my family, I'd rather be traveling, I'd rather be doing things that are creative, and I feel like having, one, you know, that nine to five, you know, kind of stumps that people do it all the time, but I want to give all my heart and all my energy to the things that I love, and you have a regular nine to five that's not exactly what you want to be doing you know you, you know you really have to find a way to juggle it and I need to build up my stamina because 
you know, after work, I'm always usually drained and I don't want to do anything. It's not because I'm lazy, it's just energy-wise, physically, you know, it's just not there, you know? So anyway, I'm off to Zoomix to do the radio show and I don't know how long I've been talking. <laughs> so we'll go do that, see what my car is up to. I'm gonna go home and take a nap and then I gotta work tonight. And I'm gonna try to talk about um, YouTubers again when I get home. So in the meantime, I'll see you in a minute. I'm still at Zoomix. Didn't do my show because there was technical difficulties. Um, but I'm still waiting for my car. So I think I'm just gonna walk around, get a little exercise, and yeah, go from there. Um, I wanna play the drums. I wanna play those things right there. Right there. And stuff. But, um, so I was just looking at my YouTube channel in the last vlog I put up, standing up with my brothers, meaning Yusuf, uh, FuziTube, Adam Sella, Kareem Atwali, you know, and of course it's the first video I put up after monetizing my site, and it got copyrighted um, due to putting Fuzi's footage of his last vlog from yesterday, um, which I was responding to or uh, reacting to or whatever you want to call it. And it got um, <laughs> copyrighted and I won't be making money off of it, which is fine. Because like I said, you know, like it, don't like it, whatever. You know, I'm doing YouTube, you know, not necessarily to make money. If I make a few bucks, great. But really, I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it to try to inspire people. I'm doing it to let my voice be heard. And, you know, just to keep myself, you know, creative, creatively moving and just motivate myself. You know, this is keeping me active, even when I'm not being that active. You know, so, yeah. I would play, but I don't want to disturb anybody. So uh, let me walk around. Maybe I'll take a little clip here and there. There's construction going on all over the place. Um, only reason why I didn't go home is because, you know, Zoomix is right down the street from where I dropped off my car. So, yeah, let's go on a walk. I'll take you with me, and we'll see what we see. This is where I am right now. It's the little spot where I live, um, probably about two miles from my house. Amazing what you find when you're just walking around. While I'm waiting for my car, I left Zoomix and went for a walk and ended up at this park that I haven't gone to in a while. And I never knew this little section was here. It's just like a little patch of grass, you know, little seating. It's nice. Definitely a nice place to go meditating. And the Boston skyline. The Boston Harbor. And a hotel. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. This is definitely a good spot to like do meditation or pray or, you know, just sit quietly. I really wish sometimes that I wasn't driving so I could take some of these beautiful pictures. I shouldn't even be recording, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so it's currently the next day, and um, so yesterday I went to give my letter, my notice, two week notice to my current job. Got a tune up for my car. Went to Zoomix, didn't get the radio done, radio show done because there's um, an issue with the with the board and the computer. Um, took a walk around the neighborhood because I was waiting for my car to come out of the shop. And it lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. But luckily, as I was finishing my walk at the, at the mechanic shop, they were pretty much done. And then last night, I started training for my new job. 
you know, which was a little tricky because I, you know, I'm fasting. And, you know, normally the fasting doesn't bother me. You saw how I was still going to the gym last week or whatever, but this week, I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe I'm not getting enough nutrients in my body. I don't know what it is, but, like, I go through a fog throughout the whole day. And even yesterday, you know, I managed to sleep a little bit before I went to the job for the training. And I, you know, I was in a fog for most of the night. I got to go to my current job today to do my shifts. Um, and I got, again, got some sleep. Yeah, but, um. Lighter? Lighter, no. Huh? No. Not in here? No. So, but, um. What? Yeah, so, I'm recording. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so, um. And, because <clears throat> I was in a fog yesterday, I didn't get to any of my prayers. Um. At work, I kind of got to the morning prayer. I didn't want to interrupt my training. But, you know, I I said it to myself. Um, But I did bring food with me. I don't know if I brought enough food with me. We'll see how I feel throughout the day. Because lately I've been feeling like, you know, if you've been out in the sun for too long or you've been overly active and your nerves are just shot, That's how I've been feeling this week, you know, and, like, I got that, like, slight nauseous feeling in my stomach, like, as if I've been out in the sun for way too long, you know, but I'm not complaining, you know, I'm trying to see this job for what it is, that it's going to bring my finances up. Which is something that I say I want to see my finances grow, finances grow, and I do want to get to that point that I'm financially free where I have the choice to quit the job, and I believe in due time that's gonna happen. Right now, I'm kind of trying to re you know adjust my thinking and adjust my brain from one job to the other. This job is gonna be a lot more um, time sensitive and. In, it require a lot of my time more than I was expecting. Um, there's a little, a, a bit more that I have to do versus what I do, what I've done at um, my current job. But it's going to be a good challenge. It's going to be hopefully a grow, growing experience, and you know we'll go from there. Um, anyway, I don't have anything specific as far as Ramadan or Islam to say in this one, um, but I'm going to work on it for the next one, until next time, y'all have a good one, like, love, share, and inspire, much love.